Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie. We are currently in Albania, in Duras, and today we are going to Golem, which is a town quite close by apparently. So we're going to get the bus up to the main centre of Duras, have a look at the bus station now and see which other places they go to in case we want to do another day trip before we leave. And then hopefully get a bus down to Golem, which is just past where we're staying now. Um, apparently it's a beach town and we just thought we'd go and explore, so I've wanted to vlog today to show you around as well. So let's get going. Okay, so we got the bus and we've now made it to the bus station. We're walking around, <laughs> writing down all of the places that the buses go to because there's no kind of bus schedule online or anything. And there's nowhere here that's written down all the buses and the destinations. So we're literally walking around. Jamie's writing them all down, which is quite fun. I sort of feel like I'm playing Pokemon, even though I've never played that. It's kind of walking around trying to write them all down and making sure we don't miss any. So it's fun. So like this one goes to a few different places. There was one going to Škoda, which is the lake. There was one going to the airport. And they're all just sat here, like that's the airport one. They're all just sat here with no timetables and no sort of anything to help you out. So just walking around and seeing where we can go to basically. We just had some guy come and try and be helpful and was like, are you going to Tirana? No. Are you going to Vlor? No. Are you going to this place? No. And we're like, we're just looking. But can you see the looking? Can you see them staring at me? That's what it's like here. Anyway. Um, so we're now going to go and stand on the street and see if we can just see if a bus for Gollum goes past. I always think it's like Batman's town, Gollum, but Jeremy says it's Gotham, which just goes to show how much I know about Batman. Anyway, time to wait on the streets and see if we can get a bus. And in case you're curious, this is the bus station of Jerez, where I've just been walking around and taking notes. <laughs> right, anyway, time to catch a bus, hopefully. Okay, we're on the bus. We had to wait about 20 minutes. It's been a bit of an adventure. I tried to get off to get a video and then the man like going back on the bus again. But anyway, we're on it, aren't we? Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is the bus we were just on and we're off now. Okay, so <laughs> it was interesting on the bus looking at all the architecture in the mountains and the beaches and things like that and the hotels and stuff. And Jeremy was following along on the map all the way. We were like, do we get off here? Do we get off here? And it was just like hotels and beach. So it was a bit like, well, there's nothing really to see. So we'll just get off when everybody else gets off. And they stopped on like a roundabout and everyone jumped out apart from two people. And then by the time we realized, we were like, oh God, they've all jumped out. So we carried on to the next stop, which was like the, the bus stop of Gollum, which is where we are. Um, but it's weird because Gollum town is like in the countryside a little bit more. And where we're at is kind of by the beach anyway. So we're kind of at the... Oh, bloody hell. Just some huge meat hanging up. So we're kind of at the top of town now, walking our way down to where everybody else got off. Jeremy is starving Marvin. So we're going to try and get some food along the way. But... Yeah, it was fun taking a local bus. I think most people would either just not come here or get a taxi. So it was fun getting a local bus to somewhere that's not really like a touristy place. Um, but we're not really sure what to expect. I think, like I said, we're going to get some food and then have a look at the beach and see if it's worth looking at. Jeremy's just put a pin in the map of where the bus station, well, where we got off the bus so that if we just can't find any others, we can get on there at least. But Yeah fun little journey wasn't it yeah. <laughs> Beginning out. right so the next job is to find somewhere for food that looks open um jeremy said he saw some yeah i'm sure down by the beach there'll be lots but yeah we're here in Gollum. so this is our view walking down like i said lots of apartments lots of palm trees there's the bus again. Oh, it's another one. <laughs> but that's the same bus that we got okay, on. I just waved. <laughs> the same type of bus. So yeah, this is what Albania looks like. Oh, this is our bus. That was our bus, apparently. Eee, I'm such a tourist filming the bus. <laughs> right, anyway. Time to find some food. So we're coming to Market Tony because Jeremy is starving Marvin. He's going to buy some crisps to keep him going before we find a restaurant at the beach. I think we decided to try and find like a hotel or something along the beach, so we'll see. But I think he's just gonna see if he can find a packet of crisps or something just to keep him going. These look incredible. 
But I can't really eat it. I think it'll make me hungry. I'm not hungry. I think it'll make me ill, I mean. This is an Albanian supermarket. Okay, so this is the roundabout where everybody else got off the bus. We came from up there. So everybody else got off here and we were like, oh shit, everyone got off. Anyway, this is the hotel. And then I think the beach is down here. So like I said, this is hopefully where we're gonna find somewhere to eat. So we're walking along to get to the beach. Jeremy's just drinking his chips, his crisps. And this is one of the hotels, but I thought this was really beautiful. Oh, he's, quite, he's showing me. <laughs> anyway, I thought this was a really beautiful hotel. I think you could see this in like Paris or something. I love the decoration of the like, um, you know, the white bits around the windows and the balconies. Super cute. Right, keep walking. This one's nice as well, it's called Flower Garden and it's got plants on all the balconies which I think is really nice and I love the archways and the shade of green, it's really beautiful. Right, keep going. <laughs> okay, so that's the street we've just been walking down and there's this huge Coca-Cola advert joined onto this like really old building with apartments, it's kind of in a semi-circle shape. But anyway, we are here at the beach there's lots of cars and umbrellas and palm trees. It's nice and warm today, which is nice. So there's a camper van parked here. Imagine waking up and having like that beach and palm trees and umbrellas as your view. How incredible. Right, Jeremy is starving. So we're gonna go this way and look for food and see if we can find anything. It's weird how empty it is. This is a Sunday. If it was this warm, on a Sunday in England, this beach would be absolutely jam-packed. But I guess Albanians are used to the summer and this isn't that hot for them, but for us, this is definitely sunbathing weather, isn't it? Nice. Yeah, it's nice. If this was in England, the beach would be absolutely full. These have all either blown over or been put away to protect them. We need to come back and get some pictures here because it's so nice having them all in a line. Right. How beautiful is this beach? Oh, it's beautiful. Right, we're walking along and this one seems busy. So we might go here. It's called Alto something, I think I just saw. Mare, yeah, Alto Mare. Oh, got paella. Got paella. Okay, so Jeremy had a look at the menu of this place and it had pasta and risotto and I think risotto would be full of like cheese and butter and things that would make me ill. So, we're going to keep going and have a look somewhere else. I guess if we can't find anywhere else, we'll go there. It can be like a final resort. But final resort has to be kebab. Final resort has to be kebab. <laughs> okay, you know, look at, we've eaten so many kebabs. <laughs> I've not been vlogging, but like, we've eaten at least, what, two kebabs a week? Yeah. At least. We're enjoying it, yeah. but it's a lot of kebab. Right, we're going to keep going and see what else we can find then. It's good. It's so weird how this is like a ghost town. Like I'm sure in summer this is absolutely rammed. But like the beach is empty. There's two people there. There's three people there. The beach is so empty. But I'm sure in summer this is so busy and it's so weird to see it like this. Like out of season. So we're still walking along. We were saying this reminds us of Miami Beach which is quite nice. But we're wondering if this place might do food. It seems like a hotel but look at the balconies. How they're all like jutting out at different positions. So cool. Once we've had some lunch, we have to walk around and take so many photographs because it's so beautiful here. Right, let's see if they do food. So I just wanted to show you this because we've still not found anywhere for food yet. But this is a bit like in Jura's where it's a um, theme park thing, but it's all closed down for summer. And it's so creepy. It's so weird how it's just, I don't know, it's so weird. There's a nice hotel up there look with um, sea views over all the trees so I guess we might try that one next. I think the problem is that because of my gluten and dairy it's hard to find somewhere and then also because um, a lot of the smaller places are closed obviously because it's not summer and the other places don't have menus online so it's hard for us to check what kind of food we'd be able to get. These are also pretty cool, someone cycles under there. <laughs> and you can buy towels and toys and things. Right, let's try this hotel, I guess. It's so nice, isn't it? Oh. 
Oh yeah. Okay, so I've come to this restaurant, Eddie Bar restaurant. I thought I'd quickly show you what the kind of menu looks like here and the kind of options that we have. So there's different salad options and roughly 500 is about five euros just to give you kind of an idea on price so it seems quite expensive here compared to Jura's which I've noticed in a couple of the restaurants as we were looking at menus and things um and then there's antipasti um shrimps things like that and then there is um fish dessert so linguine risotto and spaghetti and soup there's fish, so I think what we're going to get is the mixed fish for two people, just as kind of an easy option. And then maybe get some chips or salad or something, we'll see. Um, there's some meat, so there's grilled veal chops, beef steak, mixed meat and beef sausage. And then there's different wines, different desserts, different alcohols, beers, and things like lemonade and stuff. So for example, a Fanta costs about one euro 50. So yeah, and this is our view, sat by the beach. We're in the shade, so it's a little bit chilly, but we're okay. And this is what the restaurant looks like behind us. Okay, our food has just arrived, plate of chips. We've got some shrimps and some, don't know what in there. And then all this fish, it's bloody huge. We're making our way through them. Still a lot left though. <laughs> We've still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fish left and two prawns and an octopus, half a pile of chips. And this is my fish in the view. Okay, we've got one fish left. There's like a bowl of bones. There's my pile. I've got one left, so I'm gonna have to have it. So we've just finished lunch in the bar over here, the restaurant here. It was delicious. It cost about 30 euros for, I think it was like 11 or 12 fish three prawns and four like squid calamari things. Oh, and some octopus things as well. There was a lot, wasn't there? Yeah. We managed to eat it all somehow. It was worth it and some fries, yeah. So that was a big old meal, but it was good. It was like fresh fish, deliciously cooked for like 30 quid. But we were sat in the shade and I was freezing the whole time. Like after the meal, I went to the toilet just to wash my hands and to, <laughs> under hot water to warm up a bit. So I thought we could come and sit on the beach a warm up but there's still a breeze so I'm actually not warm yet and we just saw a pedalo sat on the sand so I thought right well let's come and sit on that so we just sat <laughs> on a pedalo as you do let me just show you properly there he is pretending we're out to sea he's been pedaling and he's also been turning the thing <laughs> and then turn the steer thing as well don't know what they're doing but yeah, that's where we ate over there. I don't know what these people are doing. <laughs> Probably shouldn't film them, but anyway. So Jeremy's going to fly the drone. I'm going to sit here and try and warm up a little bit. Um, and then I think we'll probably go for a walk along the front. I want to photograph some of the hotels and things like that as well. They're being so loud and weird over there. These people. <laughs> Um, but I want to photograph some of the hotels and the palm trees and kind of get some photographs of this part of town because it is slightly different to where we are so it'd be nice to do that but anyway I'm going to insert some drone footage now so enjoy that.
Okay, so we finished flying the drone and I kind of wanted to show you where we're at. So that is Juras over there, which is where we went and spent the day the other day. And I think we are staying somewhere around here. It's hard to see exactly which obviously building or where exactly we are, but we're within that bunch of buildings there. And then from our beach, you can actually see this building, which is half white and half black. So when I'm back on the beach, either tonight or maybe tomorrow or something, I'll try and show you that building to show you how far away we are from, from where we're staying. But yes, yeah, so that's Juarez and we're here at the moment. So I've obviously finished just flying the drone, which was good fun. I'm now walking along the beach, I'm going to get some photographs and some more video footage and just kind of see a bit more of, where are we, Gollin? Something like that? Gollum? I think so. Okay, so we're walking along the boardwalk and there's some cafes and restaurants and hotels, apartments, um, toy stands, things like that, these like boxing things. Can I pay to go to the kangaroo for you? Can I film you? <laughs> I would pay for it. No, I'm not going on the kangaroo. <laughs> Jane wants to pay me to go on this. No, not happening. Oh, this is Miami restaurant. There's Miami Beach earlier. This is now Miami, Miami restaurant. And Miami too. Yeah, cool chairs. It is such a holiday town, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. These ones are nice as well. There's like an older building there with this newer one here. That would be quite nice having that one with the, you know, at the top, at the front. The top and the front. Like that one, the corner one. Mm -hmm. Having views over the ocean in the morning. This one's very posh. It's cute. Anyway, still going. There's lots of street vendors, like I was saying earlier. Lots of little things on the side to keep you entertained and to look at. And we were saying that this black one looks like a haunted house or something. You would see at Disneyland like it is not beautiful. <laughs> so this one's a big hotel. It's Grand Blue Fafa. And that's this whole building is all a big hotel. I bet it's got a really nice swimming pool. So we're just walking along and found these two and I was like, hmm, that looks like a bunker. And so it says that this shelter was built in 1975 during communism period and weighs about 40 tonnes. It represents the past of our country during the communism. So there's two of them, there's one there as well. Just literally on the side of the road next to this hotel. So that's cool, nice bit of history there. So there's this section here, there's like a bar there but then there's a pool. It doesn't look like it's a hotel pool. It looks like it's maybe a community pool because it doesn't seem like there's a hotel, right? Do you think it's a hotel? I think it's a bar. You think it's a bar, yeah. It's a bar, yeah. So that's quite nice. Right, we've made it to the black and white haunted house hotel. I don't know how much further we're going to go, but we've made it this far. So I wanted to show you from here, so it's kind of a hotel here, hotel, and then you look up and there's two towers and it goes into black, so it's so weird how it's like three, I don't know, different buildings all in one and those letters, that looks like it's about to fall off the S. Anyway, that's what it looks like from down here. We're just going to have a little bit look, a little bit further down, see if there's anything else worth seeing and then we're going to head back and on the way back I'm going to take photographs so I'll be able to insert them in and show you them as well along the way so that'll be nice looks like Jeremy's found another pool I'm going to look from up here, I'm going to be sneaky let's have a look oh wow right so we've just made it past the big black and white building which is here and now we're going to walk back and on the way back I'm going to take some photographs like I just said. But yeah, it's nice. I'm actually warm now, which is good. I've warmed up a bit, so... Ok, 
Okay, the bus has stopped to get somebody on, but Jeremy's just seen that the bus goes every half an hour until 8 p.m., which is great. And then the other thing to notice is that on Albanian buses, you don't pay the driver. There's somebody else who comes around and collects your money and gives you a ticket, which is, I don't think I've seen that anywhere else in the world. So it's quite interesting because you get on without paying and then somebody comes and you pay them. Okay, we have just got home. We got off the bus at Pepler, Poplar, Poplar, something like that and then walked about 10 minutes and then got on a different bus to drop us off where we were. It was only like five minutes on the bus, but it would have taken us probably another half an hour, 40 minutes to walk. And we were done by that point, like we're so done. I think we've walked like, what did I say? Like 12 or 13,000 steps today, which is quite a lot. But we just stopped at the shop. I got some orange juice, which I just tried, which was delicious. And I also got some chocolate. Now I'm gluten and dairy free, cause I have intolerances. And I love trying lots of different dark chocolates because it's hard for me to like them. The ones I like are the Lint um, Orange and Lint Mint. They're my favourite ones. But I thought I would try this one. I think it's an Italian one. Obviously, they do get a lot of Italian foods here. Um, and this is made from soya. And obviously sugar and cocoa mass and stuff. So I thought I would try this with you. It's also no gluten. Gluten, I mean. So here, where it says Senza Gluten. I don't know if that's in focus or not, but that means no gluten. So I'm gonna try a piece. Oh, it's quite dark. Hmm, that's nice. I find that with milk chocolate, I could eat the whole bar, but with dark chocolate, I have like two or three pieces and then that's fine, that's enough. So, yeah, that's nice. Anyway, we're home. We had a really nice day. We're both exhausted, so we're gonna like save our photos and videos and relax a little bit. But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here so you can follow along with more of our travels. I hope to see you soon. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have ever been to Albania, if you would ever come, if I'm convincing you, let me know. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.